Forensic report digging into corruption and bribery at Gauteng driving license centres shows that some officials don't play by the book. An investigation was instituted after motorists complained about being unable to secure slots to renew their driver's licences. Some even say they had to pay a bribe to do so. Well, there was a briefing today. ENCA's Hadi Jokos joins us now. Uh, Hadi, you were at that briefing. What exactly did the transport MEC here in Gauteng say they've uncovered? Well, Sally, I don't think there is much of a surprise uh, with what has been found, but uh, it seems as though this investigation and this forensic team was appointed after there were many complaints about the state of driving license centres. One must remember that during the hard lockdown, it was very difficult to access the centres to renew a driver's license, so there was a bit of leeway, but things got out of hand and uh, you had people complaining about not being able to get slots at certain driving centres having to drive uh, almost out of the province to get a slot to renew your driver's license. So the MEC decided to intervene. What's been found from this forensic team is that there was definitely corruption at play. Bribery was also rife. So what basically happened was that uh, there was uh, what they called runners, so people that would assist and be uh, standing outside the driving centers to assist with uh, the long queues um, for those that got to these driving centers. But they used that as an opportunity to basically uh, become corrupt and uh, take on uh, bribes. So it was a massive problem. Uh, this has been identified. The big question is, we know this has been going on. We know bribes have been paid. We know that officials in the driving centres have also um, not acted the way they should as officials at these driving centres, uh, driving licence centres. What's going to be done? The MEC says that action has already um, started in terms of moving in on these officials that uh, have been uh, identified in all of this. And uh, also, a uh, next big step is placing cameras in these driving license centers. Uh, a number of them have been uh, identified as problematic. But uh, let's perhaps listen to a piece that I put together that uh, explains uh, exactly what came out of that briefing and report today. A recent report looking into corruption and bribery at driver's license centers in Gauteng has confirmed that several centers and officials had asked for bribes. The investigation focused on why people were unable to secure bookings to renew their licenses. Transport MEC Jacob Mamabolo says the report illustrated clear examples of fraudulent activities and corruption. The top 25 numbers that were identified to be linked to multiple bookings. The top 25 numbers were also subjected to social media searches, which revealed instances where the individuals advertised to offer the services of bookings online slots in exchange for fees ranging between 150 rands and 200 rands per booking. The report also found that the new online booking system that was meant to make it easier for motorists has become the latest casualty of chances. Lifestyle audits found that assets of officials didn't match their salaries or spending ability. This report shows bribes have been taken from officials. Mamabolo says additional measures like CCTV monitoring will reduce corruption. Cameras linked to a central place so that we can even start to analyze these forces in the DLTCs and our law enforcement can pounce on them. So cameras for me are very important. According to the Transport Department, recommendations have been made and action will be taken. We do have uh, details about action that need to be taken and against implicated officials and those uh, based on the forensic investigation um, as you surely understand and agree we need to work with law enforcement uh, to help us process the report whilst internal labor relations matters should follow the MEC says further measures will be taken to deal with corruption and bribery at centers in the short term. Heidi Jakas in Centurion.